It's almost impossible to fathom. The universe holds billions of galaxies and hundreds of billions of planets. So what are the chances that life exists on at least one of them? It seems pretty likely that it, it's probably out there. Uh, we just need to uh, be looking in the right places. NASA's Perseverance rover is now on Mars, looking for signs of ancient or even current microbial life. The Hubble telescope is peering deep into space, discovering new planets, nebulas, and black holes. But it's all just a tiny fraction of what's out there. The problem... We humans love sci-fi, and we tend to think of aliens as the characters we see on TV and in the movies. Home. Our understanding of life uh, doesn't mean that we understand all the options or all the possibilities of the various life forms that may be out there. Absolutely true. Yes, just because we understand our own life doesn't mean that we know what to predict uh, of how life might form in another different environment. The next generation of telescopes will search out far distant planets, searching for oceans, signs of atmospheric gases, pollution, perhaps alien solar panels that are light years away. But have aliens already visited Earth? There's a whole fleet of them. What about the UFO sightings from credible sources like Navy pilots? Astrophysicist Adam Frank is a sympathetic skeptic. Why uh, do UFOs always look like exactly what we'd expect them to look like from all the movies we've watched, right? As I like to say, if it sounds like a science fiction story, it is. Professor Frank believes life likely does exist beyond Earth, but he hasn't seen compelling evidence that they've already visited Earth. But if telescopes eventually spot signs of life light years away... That would change our understanding of ourselves. All of humanity would have to rewrite its religions, you know, uh, to take into account the fact that we are not the only one. We're not the only time that uh, uh, life and civilizations have occurred. As a scientist, have you ever seen uh, any evidence or, or any signs that maybe we have been visited by extraterrestrial life? No, I've, as a scientist, I've not seen any evidence uh, that would, would lead me to that, that kind of a conclusion. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not true. We just haven't seen any evidence. So here's a question for you this morning. If we do someday see signs of civilization on another planet with our telescopes, should we contact them? And should we be right now transmitting information about who and where we are to the universe? A lot of self-proclaimed <laughs> space geeks think that's a really bad idea. It's like advertising, hey, I'm leaving the house. It's open and unlocked, and we're going out for dinner. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what their intentions are, right? So uh, Agreed. Let's just stay right here. Yes. You know, But if there is intelligent life out there, yeah. what scientists best guess about how far away it might be? All right. Are you ready to get your mind blown? Tom and I were talking about this. Multiple light years away. One light year is 37,000 Earth years away. So we're talking about potentially 100,000 light years away or 100,000 years of journey or more, which means if you guys send me there, yeah. I need a bigger expense account. <laughs> no, we'll see you in 100,000 yeah. years. <laughs> okay, good. Tom, well, we know intelligent life exists on yeah. this set yes. because you're here. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you're here, Tom. Do you guys remember Men in Black, the original? Oh, yeah. Remember when Will Smith was like, it finds out that there are aliens living among us? Uh -huh. Does anybody remember a certain Look, alien whoa. that was zoom shown? In. Let's zoom, zoom in. in. Where are oh. Al? Oh. Al so maybe we just ask busted. Al. Al, your people. When you say yeah. my people, are exactly. you talking about a bear? Well, people is a loose term. Oh, yeah. It's a very loose term. I prefer to think of Galaxy Quest as yeah. a documentary, but that's another story.